And welcome back to some more Shrouded. Right, for this video, I thought it was maybe time to give a tiny little bit of a tour of my base. I mean, I would like to show off the progress of what I've done thus far. And we're starting off at night just to give a little bit of the ambience of the lighting, because I think that my sandcastle, it has a real ominous taste to it. I mean, that is mainly because of the uh, hollow holes, torches and chandeliers and everything. But yeah, okay, so let's start off the tour. Hang on, first off, I think I'll just make it uh, day. I think the fastest way to do that is just log in and out, like so. Okay, so this is, well, my second base. So obviously, the first one, pretty much everyone makes one at the start of the game. And so did I, but it's not that much to brag about. I mean, then again, this base isn't that much to brag about uh, either. I build all of it freehand and just think, well, maybe there could be a building here, so I put a building here. But anyhow, so this is the main house. Let's start off with the interior before we look at the outside. So, I mean, here, here we have it. A little bit of a fireplace, some furniture, and of course all of the craft people. I thought about making a house for each and every one of them, but I kind of like having them close. Now, obviously, everyone needs a secret door that leads to the basement. And I do believe this is the best view that you can get in the game. I mean, look at this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's gonna be real interesting to see how the mountain biome affects my base. Because I have been a little bit lucky, I think. Because there was a big update that has updated the terrain of where I placed my build. As you can see, this is not natural. I managed to keep most of my base after the update. Okay, but let's have a look at the basement and this is my trophy room now i managed to get every trophy they're not in the right order but i mean they yeah maybe the difficulty of the bosses now i do also have a tiny bit of a bathroom down here just so that i could get max comfort which i believe is currently 73 and a little bit of a porch with an incredible view so here are all the crafting stations and of course my main storage and of course every house needs a farm, so that's what I did here. Now this farm has evolved quite a bit. First it was a little bit of a patch and then I made a bigger patch. And of course, hobbit houses. Because this was basically nothing before I started. I mean, if we take a little bit uh, behind the scenes look, you can see. Yeah, the <laughs> big hobbit house. <laughs> so technically there's three of them because I made this tiny thing. And then I built my sand castle. That was a very fun experiment. I tried to make the pillars round, but I quickly found out that I cannot make circles in uh, with squares. At least not freehand. Just a big square that goes very far to the top. And I also did some decoration detailing with the exploding arrows, as you can see, to may maybe make it look like it's been in battle. I have also experimented a little bit with uh, flower beds for the windows. Okay, let's get back to the main building and just look some at some of the exterior details because it's quite easy to make windows that look like that. I mean, you just use roof tiles, basically, and then you get those shapes and everything. And I have shown in previous videos that you can just place down either dirt or flower soil and then you can get the vines. Now, this works for a lot of materials. I'm not really sure which one, but yeah, they make it look a little bit more natural and worn. And then I made this flower bed. Now, this looks quite nice. I mean, it's just roof tiles again covered with uh, flower soil. Yeah, the new ectoplasm block works great as a cathedral window. Doesn't really fit the build, but I um, do do think it looks fantastic. And of course a pipe. Pipe. Chimney. <laughs> right. Let's uh, look more of the other buildings, because the idea of this build was basically that I would make an entire village in front of my house. Now, I have not made that many houses. I'm trying to make them a little bit unique. So, again, all freehand, just... Uh, Trying to make something that makes sense. Again, a little bit abstract, some twin twin buildings. But yeah, I also do want to expand it further down, but I am experimenting with some different palettes that I think could probably work. I'm not sure what would work just yet, but I mean, I have most of the building blocks. This is not all of them. You have all of the metal ones and the luminescent blocks, and there could be something that I miss. But, again, we will see. I'm not sure what I want to do with this. And, of course, at the very center of my base was 
my hole, a hole that went all the way to the ground. Yeah, I mean, it went very far, very, very far. I so far that I can't actually see. Oh, yeah, so far that I actually die. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna keep that in the video. Okay, where's my stuff? Is my stuff down here? Maybe? Oh, I didn't have any stuff on me. Oh, okay, well, that's good. Now, the thing with this hole is that I actually made it a lot further down, but since my base is located right on top of the Hollow Holes dungeon, uh, well, basically all of my hole got destroyed. I think it was either two or three flame altars that were removed. Now, thankfully, I'm very thankful for this, uh, I didn't build anything more in here, because the plan was to carve out that entire thing and build a Dwarven Kingdom underneath my base. I was basically planning to hollow out the entire mountain. As you can see, I've started a little bit here. But yeah, I am really happy that I didn't do that. Ooh, I would have been mad. Mad, 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 mad. I mean, imagine. There's probably someone. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't been uh, reading that much in the Discord. But yeah, probably someone that has built bases at one of these locations that has been renovated. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, but that is basically all of my base. I mean, I also did make a little bit of an optical course around the base, just because it's, you know, fun to glide around. Very fun indeed. Woohoo! And another whoop. So, I do want to expand everything a little bit further out and just fill it in with houses. At least I'm gonna start off with that area and maybe expand it a little bit further. I mean, I do also have a lot of room downwards so i might hollow out a little bit of the mountain but yeah that should pretty much do it that is my base i mean you might as well have a quick look at my starting base too ah and here we are well technically my starter house is gone because it was basically just wood with uh, open sides so i destroyed that and i made nothing now i did stay here for quite some time before i moved up uh, to the mountain had every craft person in here. It's not biggest, biggest room, so it got crowded real fast. So I made this hobbit hole. Now I'm really proud this, uh, of this hobbit hole because again, freehand, didn't know what I was doing, and I did it just kind of worked out. Now on the inside, it's it looks like it's bigger than it is on the outside. Now I really enjoyed that. But yeah, I also managed to get full rested bonus inside of this little thing, so that was fantastic. But yeah, I figured that I had to move to a place with a little bit more scenery. I do have one final base that I also made. Now this one I did kind of hastily, because the main point of this is just that it's, you know, high up so that I can fly places since they removed flying, but you kind of get the drift. Like flower soil, a little bit of a farm, and uh, quite a regular house, far up in the, in the sky. Well, as for the interior, I just tested out some stuff. So, again, those uh, cathedral windows, ectoplasm blocks, and uh, a little bit of a fireplace and some decorations. Not, not the most uh, fancy build, but I think it works. Okay, yeah, so that's, uh, that's my basis, as for now. Something weird is going on with, uh, with the clouds. But yeah, um, there we have it. So, as always, until next time.